Now, breaking news from NBC4. And we are following breaking news. One person is dead after an officer involved shooting happened in the hilltop. Yeah, Matthew Hertzik is live for us at that scene. Matthew, you just spoke with the investigators. What can you tell us at this hour? Yeah, good morning, Matt. Monica, well, like you said, uh, first off, we are learning that the victim in this case has uh, died uh, after this officer involved shooting. Still a very active scene, as you can see behind me here. We're going to go uh, off to my right here. First off, you guys can see uh, BCI uh, units on hand here. That is, uh, again, standard procedure with any officer involved shooting that the Bureau of Criminal Investigation is on hand investigating. Now, this all started on the second floor of this apartment building that's in front of us. That's where uh, officers uh, tell us that uh, a Columbus police officer was serving a warrant to who they believe to be an adult male. The victim's name, or excuse me, victim's age is still unknown at this time, but police say uh, that what they're calling an unknown altercation occurred inside the apartment. They say the officer fired their weapon. The man was taken to Grant Medical Center in critical condition. He has since died. Now, investigators tell us that there were multiple officers on the call and these were uniformed officers. We're told none of the officers were hurt and we're also told that there were no other individuals inside the apartment at that time. Now, police were not able to confirm how many shots were fired and they're still investigating whether there was an exchange change of gunfire or if there are any weapons found in the apartment or on the man that died. Now, police say that there were a few witnesses on hand here, but they say that they are still being questioned at this time. Of course, again, BCI will be handling the investigation going forward. As for the victim, police say that they were serving felony warrants for domestic violence, assault and weapons charges. So we are continuing to learn more about this case throughout the morning. We'll bring that to you both on air and online as we learn more. But for right now, local for you in Columbus, Matthew Herchik, NBC4.